school safety after what happened in Newtown, Connecticut, where some children were tragically shot. A lot of the debate has been about guns, but the other side of it is how can we make our schools safer? And I know you've been working on that. You've got legislation you're recommending for the 2013 session. Let's talk about it. First of all, Dr. Blanton, how can schools be made safer and what has to be done? Well, there's a lot that has to be done. Number one, our schools are safe. And, and we bring 2.7 million students to school every day in the state of Florida. But our job right now is to make them even safer. And we're in the process of doing that. There's a lot of things that have to happen. Number one, we are supporting uh, uniformed officers in all schools. Uh, we think that's what we want, that's what the public wants, and that's what the parents uh, and the students need at this particular time. Uh, we also are going to ask for additional dollars to, from the state to pay for those because right now there's a line item in the budget called the Safe Schools Act. Last year it had $64 million in it. This year we're going to ask for an additional, at least an additional $100 million. Most of those dollars will go to pay for uniform officers in every school in the state of Florida. Let me interrupt for a second and, and ask you, is there a sector of the school system or not where there are not uniformed school officers? Most of our high schools and most of our middle schools have uniform officers. The answer is yes. Most of our elementary schools do not have uniformed officers. They do now. And uh, they will, we will continue that and everything. But a lot has to go into school safety. Uniform officers are part of it, but also how the buildings are designed. The old buildings are not designed the same way the new buildings are. We have to restrict access to our schools right now. Many of our large campuses, people can just come on and off and we're gonna to have to restrict access. So those dollars that we're gonna be asking for, we need a lot of flexibility at the local level so they can go for uniform police officers, surveillance cameras, other things that may be needed to make our schools even safer.